A viewer commented on one of my videos that they were making an oval sink, which was going to be integrated into a countertop. I thought to myself, that's an interesting challenge. I'm going to try to do it using the solid tools. I'll start by making the countertop, which I'll make 1200 by 400 millimeters. I'm going to extrude that uh, 40 millimeters. And I'm going to triple click and make group. Let me just make a guide for myself here to the center point. And I'm going to hide my countertop. I'll make another guide here, 100 millimeters in from the axis, where I will have the center point of my sink. I'll type in 150 millimeters in radius and 60s for making 60 segments in this circle. Now I'll use the arc tool and I'll tap the right arrow to lock to the red axis. And make a profile like so. Now I'm going to use the follow me tool. First I'll select my uh, my top circle here and then use the follow me tool and select the profile. And then I get a bowl like this. But this bowl is uh, hollow. So I'm going to reverse uh, the faces so I get the white face uh, facing out. And I'm going to just trace one of the segments of the circle, which gives me a top like this. And I'll triple click and make group. And this is now a solid group, but it's not oval yet. So I'm going to use the scale tool and using one of these points and the holding control, I can scale equally in both directions. I'll just scale randomly for now and then I'm going to type in 500 millimeters. And then my um, long direction is 500 millimeters and the short direction is 300. But the sink also needs a thickness, so I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to use Control C and then I'm going to paste in place, which gives me two sinks in the same position. And one of these sinks I'm going to scale up a bit. And I think the walls of my sink should be, um, let's say, 20 millimeters. So in the long direction, I have to scale using the control key and I have to type in 540 millimeters, which gives me 20 millimeters extra on each side. And on the short side, I'm going to scale to 340 millimeters. So now I have 20 millimeters around the entire top. And I still need to add the thickness in the vertical axis. And here it's uh, 150 millimeters now, so I have to scale this up to 170 millimeters, like this. Now I'm going to unhide my countertop again. Now I have three solids, which I'm going to use to make this object. I'll start by using the union tool and I'm going to union the countertop and the outer shell of the sink. And then I'm going to use the subtract tool and I'm going to subtract the inner part of the sink from this object. And like that, you have a countertop with an integrated oval sink. Let's have a look at it in section. A 
As you can see here, the sink has an even thickness of 20 millimeters, and everything is integrated into the countertop object. Thanks for watching. I hope this was inspiring. Please subscribe for more videos like this.